students you are welcome again in my video yesterday we studied the periodic trends in the periodic table that was the valency and today we are going to study the new periodic trend in the periodic table which is called as the atomic size as you know that when the properties of elements in a period or a group of a modern periodic table they are compared the certain regularity is observed in their variations so this is called as the period periodic trends in a modern periodic table so today we are going to learn about the atomic size and how the atomic size is the periodic trend in a modern periodic table so in the ninth class you studied that the the volume or the size is the fundamental property of matter and remember the uh, each and every matter it is made up of an atom therefore the size of atom uh, it is indicated in the uh, by its radius so the atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus of an atom and its outermost shell the size of an atom it is indicated by its radius and the atomic radius it is the distance between the nucleus of an atom and its outermost shell here in this particular diagram you can see that we can determine the atomic radii of this atom uh, with the help of this line which indicates that here there is the nucleus which is centrally situated in the atom and the um, the outermost shell and the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell is the atomic radii of this atom so remember the atomic radius as you know that the atom is very tiny species it is very small species therefore the atomic of uh, the atomic radius it is expressed in the unit which is called as picometer and remember the picometer is very smaller than that of the nanometer you must be knowing that the nanometer how much small unit is that uh, let us see uh, you know one meter when we make one hundred part of that one meter each part is called as one centimeter when we divide one centimeter into 10 small parts it is called as that the each small part is called as one millimeter when one millimeter is divided into one thousand part each small part is called as one micrometer then each micrometer when it is divided into one thousand part each part is called as one nanometer and what when one nanometer it is divided into the 1000 part the each part is called as one picometer that it means a picometer is very small unit it is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 12 meter so uh, to study the atomic size as a periodic trend in a periodic table we are going to see one of the interesting example which is given as an activity in our textbook so we will see the activity some elements and their atomic radii they are given here remember the elements are oxygen then boron then carbon then nitrogen then beryllium and lithium and below that the atomic radius in the picometer of those element or the atom of those element is given to us so the uh, atomic radii of oxygen is 66 picometer atomic radii of the boron is 88 picometer atomic radii of carbon is 77 picometer then atomic radii of nitrogen is 74 picometer then the atomic radii of beryllium is 111 picometer and the atomic radii of lithium is 152 picometer so in this activity what we have to do remember we have to use our brain power and um, we have to give answers to some important questions so the first question asked it is by referring to the modern periodic table find out the periods to which above elements belong now remember when we see the modern periodic table look at the modern periodic table you can see that those elements they do belong to the period number yes guess yes it's correct it is the period number two 
So those are the elements which are present in the period number 2. Now the second question in the activity is given that we have to arrange all above elements in decreasing order of their atomic radii. What we have to do? We have to arrange them according to the decreasing order of their atomic radii. So in those particular elements, the least atomic radii is of oxygen and the highest is of lithium. So if we arrange them according to the decreasing order of their atomic radii, the first will come lithium which is having the atomic radii is equal to 152 then the beryllium which is, which is having the atomic radii is equal to 111 then boron it is having atomic radii is equal to 88 then carbon it is having the atomic radii is equal to 77 then nitrogen it is having the atomic radii is equal to 74 and then oxygen it is having the atomic radii 66. So the series will be lithium, then the beryllium, then the boron, then the carbon, then the nitrogen and the oxygen. Now the next question asked is, does this arrangement match with the pattern of a second period of a modern periodic table? So we will see what is given in the periodic table. So this is the periodic table. You can watch there. There also this series is maintained in the period number 2 that is the lithium, beryllium, then the boron, then the carbon, then the nitrogen and the oxygen. Question asked to us is the which of the following element have the biggest and the smallest atom. So you watch the series you can see that the lithium it is having the biggest atom which is having the uh, atomic radii is equal to 152. And the smallest in this series is the oxygen which is having the atomic radii is equal to 66. And the, the ne next question asked is the what is the periodic trend observed in the variation of atomic radius while going from left to right in a period. So remember when we consider the atomic radii of the first element and the last element in each period you will notice that the first element in every period it possesses the greater atomic size then the atomic size goes on decreasing when we go from left to right in a modern periodic table so this is one of the important periodic trend according to the modern periodic table a question may arise in your mind why this trend is observed in a modern periodic table that why we are going from left to right in a modern periodic table? What is going to happen there? The atomic radii, it is going to decrease. So what is the reason behind that? Remember, as we go from left to right in a modern periodic table in every period, actually you know that in a period, all the elements, they do possess the same number of shells in their electronic configuration. So as we go from left to right, what happens each time? the atomic, atomic number it get increased by number 1. As the atomic number increases, the positive charge present in the nucleus, that means the number of proton, it also get increased by 1. That it means, if the proton number get increased by 1, that means the electron is also added in the same, same shell. In the same shell, a new electron is added. And remember, due to this, the entire nuclear charge is also increased there and the electrons they are get pulled towards the nucleus with the greater extent every time therefore what happens each time due to the addition of one positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons in the next atom what happens the atomic radii get decreased or the atomic size it get decreased again we are going to study the periodic trend that is the atomic radii in accordance with the group. Remember some elements and their atomic radius it is given again here. So the elements are the potassium its atomic radius is 231 picometer. Then the sodium its atomic radius is 186 picometer. Then the rubidium its atomic radius is 244 picometer. Then the cesium its atomic radius is 262 picometer. And the lithium, 
its atomic radius is 152 picometer so again those five questions they are asked to us in this activity also so the first question asked is the by referring the modern periodic table we have to find out uh, in which of the group of a periodic table those elements they belong so here in a periodic table you can see that all those elements they do belong to the group number one then the second question asked is if we have to arrange all those elements vertically downward in an increasing order of their atomic radii so we can arrange them accordingly uh, see here the first element which will have the least atomic radii will be lithium because 152 so the lithium is here below the lithium sodium will be there as the atomic radii is 186 below the sodium potassium will be there as the atomic radii is 231 below that rubidium will be there the atomic radii is 244 and below that the cesium is there the atomic radii is 262 so again question arises do really this arrangement matches to the um, arrangement which is given in the modern periodic table group number one so see the modern periodic table you can see that all the element arrangement that we have done is exactly equal to the arrangement of elements as given in a modern periodic table so uh, we can conclude that the periodic trend as we go down in the uh, group what happens the atomic radii it goes on increasing so um, a question arises again while going from left to right in a period the atomic radii it was going to decrease because of uh, the increase in the charge but as the atomic number is going to increase when we are going from top to bottom or while going to downward then also the atomic radii is going to increase but remember as we go from uh, top to bottom in the modern periodic table in any group what happens each time a new shell is added and remember when a new shell is added the distance between the atomic nucleus and the valence shell or the outermost shell it get increased therefore atomic radii is also get increased so this was the important periodic trend in a modern periodic table that we saw again i am going to repeat that while going from left to right in a modern periodic table the atomic radii of the elements it goes on decreasing and while going from uh, top to bottom or going downward in row what happens the atomic radii it goes on increasing so this was the important periodic trend which we studied today